Welcome to a lesson for an Irish jig called the Lark in the Morning. This is in the key of D major, so it has an F sharp and a C sharp. It's a four part tune, has lots of repetition, and it has one little tricky high B note, but we'll get to that. Jigs are in six, eight, and generally speaking, I recommend picking them down, up, down, down, up, down as a starting position. You can change that to down, up, down, up, down, up, if the movement of the notes is more suitable. And so much is about telling the story of the tune, and this is a beautiful tune because it really ebbs and flows, and particularly the last two parts. They've got all of that repetition, and when you play this in a session, great musicians, they really lean into that repetition, bringing in lots of chords, and sometimes unbeached chords and syncopated chords to punch out those last two parts. And so I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna bring in a lot of double stop playing. So hopefully you'll see the difference between part three and part four. On part three, I'm playing the downbeats. Okay, so I'm catching a double D, and then holding on the high D on that uh, fret five. And that's punching out those downbeats. And then on the third part, not the third part, the fourth part, we're going to hit the off beats. And the picking there is down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And that third down, the down, up, down, helps you catch the open D. So the whole point is about building huge crescendo through that fourth part, third part, the fourth part. The second part is very much a palate cleanser. It's very light, popping up to that high B. There's no real issue with that high B, and it might be one to just work on using your pinky. Use your your uh, your ring finger, your fourth finger, to pivot over if if the high B is an issue. Here's the simple melody, just played through with more jig pace. Thank you. 
So just a little note on the variances in the melody, which I'm aware of myself. When, when learning tunes by ear, which is the way that I learn almost all tunes, to be truthful. Now I do learn by notes and I read notation. I can read tab once I get my head into it. And that's a really good way to come to a completely unfamiliar piece of music and to figure out what's going on. But for the way that I learned most tunes is learning them hourly by listening to CDs, uh, listening to tapes, listening to the music being played in sessions. And so a tune learned by ear, by me usually, is learned to pace. And so the tune melody has a flow to it and it kind of comes in phrases and in pieces as opposed to note by note and bar by bar. And so when I go to play a tune that I know really well, like The Lark in the Morning, I know it as an overall journey, like an overall tale. And when I go to try to break it down really slowly, as I did, you know, in the early, uh, you know, lessons in this series, I'm like, I, I don't know what note comes next. I have a general idea of where the tune is going, but because I've learned it in the phrases, it's actually quite difficult to play it slowly. So I have notation on the screen in front of me, but it's not exactly the way that I play the tune. So that's why the variances will appear between what's the most basic simplified version of the tune and here we are playing it at kind of slow session speed and it's quite different and it's because of the phrasing, it's because of the way that I learned the tune. So I hope that makes sense. One of the things that that might help with, which is that if I go and play the lark in the morning in five different sessions with five different musicians, I'm going to hear five different versions of the tune with little nuances and subtle changes. So how do I play my version with five competing versions? And I think that is another skill to build upon for musicians that, you know, perhaps aren't as accustomed to playing in the world of sessions. I'm doing it since I'm 11 years old or 10 years old. And you just learn organ organically to just kind of pound out the tune as you know it, along with everybody else without the over analysis and the fear that perhaps we come to things as adults. So within the learning of this tune, you will hear the three different versions and four and five. And when I get into the ornamentation, multiple different versions. So the being able to accommodate the pull and the push of all of the different versions of the tune, that's a flexibility and a new tool to learn as well. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And here's the tune with simple ornamentation. crept in at the end. I wanted to save that for more varied uh, variation uh, version. Here's a version with more ornamentation, pull-offs, slides. There's a lot of opportunities because of all of the high Fs for some of that really nice pull-off ornamentation. So here goes.
There's a lot going on in that little version. Nothing complicated. Nothing complicated. So here's one round of the tune with everything thrown in. There you go. Here's a full lesson for the lark in the morning.